land is given to the uh, state legislature state, no, no land is not given it's not given where is land except uh, which provisions is land taken away uh, not here not here here only police and public order right but in delhi yes, de de oh, oh i thought you were saying land is also taken away no 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 in delhi it is public one order police and 1 to and 18 1 to and 18 your lordship sir lord uh, we have trouble your lordship sir for a long period <laughs> malad on that i wanted to avoid that part malad but uh, it is uh, it's the... argued so many times that even yeah, that yes, 1 to and 18 st stuck like a mantra in the brain you know so <laughs> but here malad 18 is not there malad it is only public one order and two. police uh, yeah public order and police and for um, lot uh, reasons obvious the very object and purpose of reorganization is this well thereafter there are financial one bills provision one more, one more change parliament has competence on all the three lists yes, that is because of 239 double a not here it's not there so unlike a state legislature in the case of union territories like delhi for instance parliament can enact a legislation on any item no, that is because of 239 double A. Double A. Okay. But here, I'm saying the same principle is followed here. I don't think, my lord. Here, 239. See, subsection 2. Nothing in subsection 1 shall derogate from the powers of conferred on parliament by the constitution to make yeah, yes, 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 respect sir. to any matter for the union. So, my lord, that 239 double A provision is incorporated in the statute. Your lordships are right. Lord, there is a consolidation for consolidated fund, Lord, which uh, Mr. C.U. Singh says it's not, it's taken away. Annual financial statements, audit, audit by the CAG. Lord, this is an official language, Lord, for the first time, there is an official language, Lord. I wish this was pointed out to your Lordship, Lord, while saying that we have uh, been deprived of everything. It's just a UT. It is a state, Lord, for all purposes except these two entries. Lord, Mr. C. U. Singh argued that the assets are also merged with Union of India. Actually, uh, this, I mean, the, nothing turns on it in this case. I was just, it's little, like, almost like trivia right now. But clause 2 says nothing in subsection 1, 32, shall derogate from the powers conferred on parliament by the constitution to make laws with respect to any matter for the union territory of Jammu and Kashmir or any part thereof. So, this provision does not empower parliament to make a law on the state list. Like 239AA. The provision comes in 246.4. 246.4 says, yeah, yeah. Parliament has power to make laws with respect to any matter for any part of the territory of India not included in a state, notwithstanding that such matter is a matter enumerated in the state list. No, no, that is at par that's with why, everyone. That's why, no, just as a matter of uh, constitutional position, parliament can enact a law on all the three lists for Jammu and Kashmir. Even, even in absence of subsection 2, it could have. That's right. That's Article 246.4. Constitution operates. That's yes. a constitutional position. So, I am not reading, Malad. Mr. C.U. Right. Singh Malad said that even the uh, assets will go to, the, has gone to the central government. So there is a specific provision, apportionment of assets. Jammu and Kashmir assets remain with Jammu and Kashmir. And Ladakh assets went to Ladakh. That's how, Malad, whenever reorganization takes place, the things happen. These are the only petitions and these are the only grounds in those petitions. The Lordships are aware, my Lord, how a constitutional act of imposition of governor's rule or president's rule is to be challenged and what should be the averments. What was the material, sufficiency, this, that, another, nothing. Because it was done after 14 months only as a corollary of challenging 5th and 6th of August action. I am not reading, my Lord, the uh, pleadings, but there are no pleadings. That's all I am. But I'm going fast. I'm, uh, I've seen your lordship's eyes looking at the clock. My lord, I, I'm also on the clock. No, no, that's not. Please don't have any such feeling. On we the to, on the lighter side, but it. it's that I goes to the clock just as a matter of uh, <laughs> training. You know, that's all. It on the lighter side, what I'm saying, so that no director to the yeah. attorney also. <laughs> More than 22 years of training on this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. More than 22 years of training. Mr. L Mr. Solicitor, when we were judges of the Bombay High Court, we had a colleague who had come from Gujarat on transfer, a God's good person. So, he had this specialization. We would meet outside the Chief Justice's chamber every morning. Uh, just a little bit of uh, camaraderie and then we go to car. So, every day, the, our, our colleague who had come from Gujarat would tell us how many more days there are to go back to uh, the vacation. You know? yes. so, <laughs>
but it is it that 66 days left for the vacation but it is like many other uh, parts but it is said that a gujarati can come out of gujarat gujarat never comes out of him <laughs> <laughs> we, we always you are right mr attorney general you are right in mr attorney yeah. general to the point that this was an aid of constitutional integration yes yeah. and as we see that integration was taking place by and by yes yeah. from 1957 right through to 2019 so subjects which were completely excluded to the parliament were brought in within the purview of parliament that was also an that is a clear understanding of the constitutional movement towards greater integration of jammu and kashmir into the indian into the indian into the, into the republic of india and the dominion of india originally then the republic of india so there was undoubtedly a, a, a gradual and imperceptible uh, integration apart from the unconditional accession to india which we saw right at the outset in article 3 there is no difficulty about that but the only point really is this that there are two ways of looking at article 373 if the proviso can't apply we keep 367 apart for a moment if the proviso to article 373 cannot apply does that mean that the power under the substantive part of 370 is completely lost. denuded or lost no the answer or and if that power is not lost is it a unilateral power then which can be exercised by the president what what parliament really did was this they didn't have a constituent assembly in the in, in the state of jammu and kashmir there was no constituent assembly they were exercising this power to abrogate they followed the 367 clause obviously with an idea that in the absence of a constituent assembly there is no legislative assembly in the state you go to parliament which in that sense represents the broad the diversity of the the decision you have the rajya sabha which is a council of states correct, correct. which represents the the overall diversity of the nation you have the lok sabha which consists which consists of elected representatives of the nation but in that process there is one i mean say casualty but one dilution and that dilution is the the role which is ascribed by the proviso to article 370 bracket 3 now the, yeah. that role can as you are trying to uh, as you are trying to uh, sort of uh, elaborate that role is merely recommendatory merely because that role is like a recommendatory does not mean that it can be dispensed with because the constitution provides for a recommendation where a constitution provides for recommendation we can't say that well even if there is no recommendation that's fine you can override it my and i just add one thing sorry i'm sorry i thought sorry to interrupt you see after you amend 367 you say legislative assembly is equal to constituent assembly we have to take it to the logical conclusion we have accepted that it exists no? but that's right that's but, that's how it has but, but my lord only one question my lord and uh, your lordship can consider this my lord during this holiday lord suppose in 1957 at the time when the constitution was framed constitution of jammu and kashmir yes and the constituent assembly was dissolving itself last speeches were made etc suppose it would have said that now in exercise of our powers under 370 sub article 3 we recommend the president that the constitution which we have framed we provide for a semi kind of monarchy and now therefore you delete 370 or would it not go against the very spirit with which 370 was incorporated that it has to be temporary and you are an integral part because because 370 sub article 3 says not which standing anything contained in the foregoing provision meaning thereby 1 and 2 instrument of accession and article 1 being applicable so constituent right. assembly technically was not bound by 1 and 2 it could have said then then my lord would the president be completely denuded and act as per the desire of the constituent assembly it cannot be for the simple reason that the debates in the constituent assembly repeatedly say that this is a temporary provision So that's why I said you can't. You don't have to refer to the debates, sir. Yes, so that's think, why. That's yeah, why. Even the, that's why I said it, there can't be there can't be a, a negation principle read into the proviso. The principle of negation whittling down the entire scheme of Article Three Seventy. You can't read it into the proviso. Let us say, bro, that as Sheikh Abdullah at that time wanted to know that dependence resolution being passed. That's why you put in register. 
Or secondly, it's the way that answer is given in the Article 378. Had they proposed, then the president is not bound. No, no, no. That proposal is not, this will be contrary to Article 378. That's right. May I have a lot of permission in, in support of this submission? Contrary to Article 1 also. Reading material can, can be, be said uh, shared with. Uh, Kashmir is an integral part of it. That's all right. Good question. Some reading material can be shared with uh, your lockers and then... Uh, no, 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 nothing in terms of reading material, Mr. Atini. We have enough reading material with us. Now we, have, we will go by churning material, which we have at the bar. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't want because to... Because then in rejoinder, we'll get on a couple of thousand pages, Mr. Atini, and we only know what difficulty that I poses at the end to us. Coming through that, I understand. No, no, if you are more accurate, Mr. Blaise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these, are, these are some... We put that discipline on you because we realize what could happen. No, but what happened? That will manifest. Get the facts which are on record in the work of Sadat Patel. This is the I. I this, please, let us I not get to the time. When he says, Chris, Chris, I don't, Chris, Chris, I don't, you'll have your chance. I don't think this uh, this statement is necessary at all. No, the, the, the reading may change us some except from certain books. Some thoughts come uh, in the course of how do you explain internal sovereignty, how do you explain certain... I thought if they are useful, I can certainly... The one last word, then we'll rise, of course, we then we'll think of all that you've argued for the holiday tomorrow, that the wide chasm between absolute autonomy, as it existed on the 26th of January 1950, all right, and complete integration as it was brought about on 5th of August 19, 2019. That chasm had been substantially bridged by what was happening in between. So really in the sense it was not it was not a complete migration from absolute autonomy to absolute integration. It had become a shell, Malod, as... Uh, uh, whether you call it a shell or not, no, it's, obvious, Nanda Singh, Malod, it's, it's obvious a that a substantial degree of integration had already taken place in the last between 1950 uh, and 2009, 69 years. The final and therefore, point. what was done in 2019, was it really a logical step forward to achieve that integration? Absolutely.